om det är man. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Blessings, 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 prophetess. Nicey. Glory. How everybody doing tonight? Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hey, Tara. Blessings to you. Blessings, blessings. Hello, hello, hello. Glory, glory, glory. How everybody doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you, woman of God. Glory, glory, blessings to you. Hallelujah. How you doing, Pastor Jim? Share with followers. Share, share, share. Come on around here. Honey. Share, share, share. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. I'm just coming to get on here to talk about the upcoming meeting in New Orleans. In New Orleans, blessings to you. Hallelujah. I'm so excited that we are in 2017. This is an established year. Thank you. Thank you, Tara. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everything should be established for us this year. I'm so excited. Glory, glory, glory. This is our year to walk in our destiny. This is our year to walk in our blessings. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. God is so awesome. Blessings, blessings, blessings to everyone. Share, share, share. Blessings, blessings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, so we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. This is a glorious year. This is a, I'm so excited that we are in 2017. I'm so excited. Blessings to everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also, I wanted to tell you, you guys, I'm going to start back my um, prophetess with um, prayer with prophetess. I will be starting that back in two more weeks. Hallelujah. I will be starting it back. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hallelujah. And I will be praying for everyone in two more weeks. I will start it back and I will be praying and prophesying live in Jesus name. Hallelujah. God is so awesome. My, 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 my. Yes. I wanted to tell you guys to continue to declare and decree. Speak over your life. Continue to stay focused on God. Continue. Thank you. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Continue to always put God first in everything you do. Amen. In everything. Meditate on his word. Get more deep in prayer. Amen. Find somebody that you can link up with that's not a hater, you know, that is for you. Amen. To pray. Y'all pray together in, in the seed together because when two or three or more gather, he is in the midst. Amen. So we need to continue focusing on God. We need to continue praying and just know that your blessing is here right around the corner. I'm so excited because we are in 2017, the established year. Amen. So I am so excited. This is a year of blessing. This is a year of favor. This is a year of promotion. This is a year of prosperity and increase in our life. Amen. So I'm so excited. So everything that you need is here right now. Now, well, Father God, I'm going to pray for you guys right now because I feel the spirit of prayer is coming on me right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, everyone that's on this phone right now, Lord, that you do a supernatural thing in their life right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord, right now, Lord, that you begin to touch their families, Lord, that you begin to touch their finances, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that you begin to open up more 
doors, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you begin to, Lord, that you begin to increase like never before. I thank you, Lord, that they have favor with God and with man in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, that wealth or riches are in their house, Lord, and they and they righteous and do us forever in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, right now, Lord, that, that the harvest is here now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that prosperity, Lord, that they're increasing right now as I speak, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Even those that need to be healed or any pains in their body, Lord, that you begin to touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost touch right now in the name of Jesus and burn everything away that's not of the living God in Jesus' name. Lord, we break every spirit of denial in the name of Jesus Christ. We break every spirit of delay in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to continue to bless these people that's on this line. Bless them like never before, God, in the name of Jesus. Increase, increase, increase in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I command money to come into your bank accounts right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Money come to you now in Jesus' name. I release the fire of God upon your life in Jesus' name. I release the glory upon your life right now in the name of Jesus. Money coming to you now in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, right now, Lord, that anything that's been held up right now, Lord, that we pull it into the now, in the now realm, in the name of Jesus Christ. No opportunity wasted now in Jesus' name. Now faith is, now glory is in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, right now that you begin to touch right now in Jesus' name. Anyone that's on this phone, they have loved ones that's in the hospital right now that you be, Lord, I ask you to touch right now them right now in the hospital, Lord, that you begin to pull them up out that bed and heal their bodies, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. I feel the fire of God right now. The fire of God is coming upon you. The fire of God. I release the fire of God. The fire of God. The fire of God. The fire of God. The fire of God I release right now in your life in the name of Jesus. The fire of God be on top of your heads. The fire of God be on your ears. The fire of God be in your belly in the name of Jesus. I release it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. Touch right now. Touch right now. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. Break everything else that's not of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ. We break every word curse. We break every demonic spirit. We bind up every witchcraft spirit. Every bewitched spirit that would try to bewitch you in the spirit. We bind that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, right now that you are touching the people right now. You are touching them right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You rosuki and rabashandi. You rebi and rabakanda rosud in a rabia. You rosud in a rashanda. You kianda barosud in a rabba. You rebi and rabashandi. You kianda barosud in a rabba. You rosud in a rashandi. You rebi and rabahaya. You kianda barosud in a rabia. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, right now that the chains are being broken right now. The chains are being broken right now. The chains are being broken right now in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you are touching your people, Lord. That you are touching them, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory on tonight, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I feel the fire of God. The fire of God in the name of Jesus. Our Lord, I release the angels be released in their house right now in the name of Jesus. Angels of revival. Angels of signs and wonder. Angels of money miracles in the name of Jesus. Angels of creative miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. I release it to you right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Ye rebi and rosso could in a rabba. Ye rebi and the roshianda. Ye kianda barosso de la rabia. Ye rebi and the bahaya. Ye rasu kianda barosso de la rabia. Ye rosso de la rabia. Ye kianda bahaye. Ye rebi and the rosso could in a rabia. Hallelujah, Jesus. We glorify your name on tonight, oh God. We glorify you on tonight, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Money coming to you now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Fire is going to be in your hands. Fire is about to be in your hands. I release it to you right now. The fire of God. The fire. 
fire of God, the fire of God, the fire of God, the fire of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's touching you right now. He's touching you right now. Y'all going to feel the fire. You're going to feel heat. That means he's touching you right now. In the name of Jesus, receive. In the name of Jesus, receive right now in the name of Jesus. Receive the glory of God. Receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Receive it. Right now, the Lord is releasing money to you right now. Backs are being healed right now. Headaches gone, pain gone right now in the name of Jesus. I see somebody who's dealing with knee problems. It's being healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. It's being healed right now in Jesus' name. Receive it. Receive it in Jesus' name. You feel heat? That's the fire of God. Glory. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. More, more in Jesus' name. More fire. More fire. More fire in the name of Jesus. Fire be on your head in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire. Fire be in your belly right now in the name of Jesus. Fire in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You rosu din a rasha and a rabba. You rebi and a rosso could in a rabba. You roshi did a rabba. Toothaches, toothache. I see somebody with a toothache. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Pain goes now in Jesus' name. Pain goes now in Jesus' name. You rosu din a rabia. Devil is a liar. You rosok in a rashanda. The devil is a liar. You rosud in a rabia. You rosuki and a baroshande. You rebi in a rosuk in a ramama. You rebi in a roshanda of a haya. You rebi and a rosuki and a rabbi in a roshanda. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, Lord, right now, Lord. I thank you, Lord, right now. The same anointing, Lord. You rebi na rosok na rasha. The same anointing for grace, Lord, to fast, Lord. I release it. I release it in Jesus' name. I release it right now. The fast anointing. I release it right now in the name of Jesus. You rebi na rosok na rasha. Toothache be healed right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Pain goes now in Jesus' name. Lord, I just, Lord, I ask you to recreate right now, Lord. Recreate. Eight. Any of that tooth that's Lord that's been paining her right now in the name of Jesus. Touch right now in Jesus' name. You are healed, woman of God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You rosok in a rush and a rabba. You rosud in a ramama. You rosok in a rabbi in a roshidia. You rabbi in a rosok in a rabba. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Your hands is on fire. Glory. Jesus, he rabbi and a rose. Jesus, he rabbi and a rose soak in a rush in a ramama. That devil is a liar. That devil is a liar that's trying to stop this call. He rabbi and a rose soak in a rush in a ramama. I release the fast and anointing upon your life. Yes, receive it right now in Jesus' name. I was sitting here with a toothache and it's gone. Glory, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be healed, woman of God. Be healed in Jesus' name. The pain stop. Glory. Pain goes now in Jesus' name. Pain goes now in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. The fire of God right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Back pain gone now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I release the fire of God upon your back right now and pain goes now. I curse trauma right now in the name of Jesus. The pain is gone right now. It's gone in Jesus' name. My my grandson fell downstairs again and hit his head. 
Lift them up in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lift up her grandson right now, Lord. And pain goes now. Trauma goes now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to touch right now with the fire of the Holy Ghost and healed his body. In Jesus' name, it is done. It is done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name. Thank you. You want to come see me? Glory. Come on, prophet. Holy. Glory, you Lord God Almighty. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. For you are holy. Touch your people, Lord. Holy are you, Lord God Almighty. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. At least the dream. Glory, glory, glory. The devil's a liar. He's just mad what's happening on the phone. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Prophet, you want to say something? You want me to say something? Yes. We got to. Hallelujah. Holy. How y'all doing, everybody? Are you, Lord God? you can see me now. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. We want y'all to, for those who can, that's in the Mississippi area, Louisiana, hallelujah, I would like y'all to come out to the prophetic meeting. It's going to be at... Um, 501 Chapatula Street, New Orleans, Louisiana. Zip code is 70130. The zip code is 70130. Make sure y'all come out. We're going to do the prophetic order with my sister. Nicey Joseph is at the stage. Uh, Stay Bridge Suites. That is on 501 Chapatula Street, New Orleans, Louisiana. Zip code 70130. Amen. Make sure y'all come out to these prophetic meetings. You don't want to miss out. God is doing some awesome things in the prophetic meetings. Uh, lately, we've been getting a bunch of testimony about money miracles. And the people have sold seed to the ministry. They've been receiving instant money miracles. I got a, uh, uh, I received a, uh, a testimony today from one of my spiritual sons that somebody away from uh, Barbados blessed them because of a spiritual blessing that took place uh, after they sold seed. I mean, God has been doing miraculous miracles. Yes. So make sure y'all come out uh, and God has just been doing just some awesome things. Uh, even in the prophetic, I want to teach y'all something real quick. Um, it's, it's between my sister's uh, writing down the area is on Pardis Street A and B room. Amen. In the Pardis A and B room. Make sure y'all come out nicely. Please post up uh, the, flyer. the flyer. Please post up the address. Um, but the reason why y'all need to come to these prophetic meetings, and I'm going to tell you why. 
Because there's some prophets that can speak a word and reveal certain things, but then there's some prophets that can speak some and stuff start happening. Come on now. There's a difference between a transitional prophet versus an a, a initiating prophet. There's certain prophets that can initiate things in the spiritual realm that can unlock blessings for you overnight. But then there's prophets that can only see it but they cannot do nothing about it. So you want to be around prophets who not only have the prophetic anointing or the Holy Ghost, but also prophets that move in the glory realm. Amen. That's those who move in the realm of the Father. That's those who can really uh, get things unlocked. So you don't just want a prophet that can reveal things, but a prophet that can make things come to pass and manifest in the now. Amen. Because not to knock other prophets, it, but it many of them don't move in the glory realm. So you want to connect with those who are connected to the vine of the Father. There's three different realms and dispensations of the Spirit. There's the dispensation of the Father, there's the dispensation of the Son, and there's the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. Many people understand the realm of the uh, of Jesus, or they only understand the realm of the Holy Ghost, but they don't understand the realm of the Father. This is where the signs and wonders begin to take place. This is the glory realm. This is the realm to where you walk under a constant or consistent open heaven. This is why Jesus said when uh, when one of his disciples uh, came up to him when he first met him, um, um, hey, you invite me out, I'll come to your city. Um, one of Jesus' disciples said this. When he came to him, he said, he said, I saw you on the sycamore tree. He said, whoa, you're the son of God. Now, I'm just paraphrasing. He said, whoa, you're the son of God. He said, why? Because I gave you a word of knowledge. This came from the, he said, you will see greater than these miracles than these when you see angels ascend and descend upon the son of man. So just getting a word of knowledge or just getting a prophetic word, that's low level prophetic. But the highest level of the prophetic is when you see angels begin to ascend and descend upon a son of man. That is the glory realm. That is the realm where you walk under open heaven, can get the presence of heaven to come to earth, and things will begin to move instantly. Amen? Yes, yes. So many people uh, can give you a word of knowledge. Many people can see things, but they can't get things to activate from the unseen realm to the seen realm. Amen. So this is the reason why you need to get under prophets that not only have the prophetic, but they have an apostolic edge to them to where they can get things to move in the right now realm. Amen. And those are major prophets. Those are prophets, uh, 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 not only seer realm prophets, but those are prophets that can go into into different dimensions and pull things in the spiritual realm. Amen. So you want to get connected so you won't be infected. Amen. On, get connected before you be rejected. Jesus. Get connected so you so 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 you make sure you can be elected. Amen. Hallelujah. But this is the thing what we must do. Amen. Darius Bell. We sure will pray for Darius Bell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A open heaven. Exactly. Not many people move in the open heaven realm. Amen. So you want to make sure that you are connected to prophets that can move in the glory realm or the open heaven realm. Amen. Uh what you want to do is Make sure that you serve, sow, and submit to that anointing. When you do that, you begin to see elevation like never before. You will begin to see things like never before. That prophet will produce certain fruit. Amen. Uh, uh, you you serve and sow into not any manipulation. Not you got to give him a seed every time he give you a word or things of like that. That's manipulation. That's but right. you're gonna know. You're gonna feel led by the spirit. You're gonna feel urged to give to that prophet. He's not gonna have okay. to hunt you down for money. He's not gonna have to beg you, ask of you, and now. do all that stuff. It's gonna come by the spirit realm. And then every time you sow, you're gonna see something unlock when you give sacrificially to that prophet. Hallelujah. I feel no more pain in my back. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise that God. is the glory realm. From we're, we're, we're right here and you're over there. And that realm no touch you. There's no distance in the glory realm. So many prophets can see it, but they can't speak something and for it to manifest. So as prophetess was praying, she wasn't just praying amiss. She was releasing things in the atmosphere that traveled to your realm, to your home, to Hallelujah. where you are. Amen. So make sure you can get connected before you be 
infected. You get connected so you won't be rejected. Jesus. Amen. You want to make sure you get around people that can get results, people that can produce. Many of y'all, y'all come on here, y'all, y'all, y'all receive, y'all do this, but none of you have sown seed. And that's the reason why you keep needing prayer. You keep needing this. You keep need pray for my toe, pray for my cousin, pray for my friend, pray for my dog, pray for my cat. Because the fact is you connected, but you're not in covenant. Jesus. If you get in covenant with a prophet of that nature, then you can have an onslaught of miracles being produced in your life. Yes. So yes. not only do you have to sow into that realm, but you also got to serve and submit into that anointing. This is the reason why you have to go from meeting to meeting to meet to meet to get a word, but yes. you get words, yes. but it never manifests. Yes. You can get in confirmations, but no manifestations. Amen. I, I don't want to just a bunch of confirmation every time I go to a prophetic meeting. I want to see the manifest. Amen. So I don't know about y'all, but you need to get around people. Not only they can give you confirmations about what God is showing you, but also they can get, get results, get manifestations. Amen. So this is the reason why you need to come to these prophetic meetings to where you can see prophets that gets results. Amen. That move in the glory realm, that move under open heaven, that where you can see things move. We've been getting testimony and testimony after money miracles hallelujah and they say why well, things keep happening to me and i try to encourage them because i know god is real in the kingdom hallelujah and now. see this is the reason why we need discipleship you cannot be you cannot have these miracles wow she said she's seen angels coming out yes of the i saw Whoa. angels coming out out of the wall I exactly hallelujah Glory to God. This is what I'm saying. This realm of the spirit is the realm of glory where the angels ascend and descend upon the son of man. I believe sister Barbara was here at one of the meetings that we were at in Mississippi and money started appearing in people Bibles. Yep. Amen. Let me tell you something. That's the glory realm. When we call for money miracles, they materialize right then and there. So the barber was a witness to that. They had a couple that came there and they didn't even believe in what I was saying. And then all of a sudden money appeared in a bank account the very next day. The Lord is about to release babies. God is going to release babies. Prophet just said yes. God's going to release babies in a season. Women, women that's been struggling to conceive. God is about to release a baby. You're about to conceive this year in Jesus name. I see babies are coming. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release that right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to touch right now, Lord, that you begin to touch their ovaries, Lord, that you begin to touch their tubes, Lord, that they will begin to produce like never before. In the name of Jesus Christ, produce, produce, produce in Jesus' name. We break every spirit that would try to hinder in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord, right now, Lord, they're right now, they are conceiving now in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, right now that it is done in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Michael, people have received money. Uh people have received instant weight loss, people have received all type of blessings. And for those who are believing God, um Hallelujah. for babies, receive it. Don't want to lose another child. Stomach pains. Please pray for me. I've been having stomach pains. It is done in Jesus' name. We break. We break every, every spirit. spirit right now in the name Rashu of Jesus Christ. Home. Every spirit of miscarriage is broken now in the Rashu. name of Jesus. I release the fire of God right now in the name of Rashu Jesus Christ. Pain goes now from your stomach right now in the name of Jesus. Pain goes now Rashu. in Rashu. Jesus' Rashu. name. Rashu. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. Rashu. Touch Rashu. right Rashu. now in the name Rashu. of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, that your child should live and not, not die. die and declare the works of the Lord in Jesus' name. Jesus name. In Jesus name. All blood and all spotting stops. Stop right now in Jesus name. Right now. Name. All spotting stop right now in the name of Jesus. It stops right now in the name Prophet of Jesus. Pray for, prophets pray for my daughter and she is with a little girl and my daughter is is 40. Glory. Lord, that's testimonies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our daughter 40 years old. Come we on now. And prophetess pray, and the, and she's pregnant with a baby girl right now. Hallelujah! And she's in Congratulations! Her Congratulations! Look at what God did. Let me tell you something, people of God. There's no limitations in God's glory realm. There's no limitation when there's a high prophetic realm in God's spirit. You cannot lose when you are with with, with Christ. You cannot lose. Y'all just don't understand. I'm tired of people that say, oh, this is our year. This is our season. Let me tell you something. No, right now we receive it. 
We receive everything that God has called us to do right now in the now realm. And this is the word of the Lord right here. It says right here. He say, he say, um, he say, uh, he'll bless your bread and water and take sickness from the midst of you. And none should be miscarrying and barren in the land. So take that word in Jesus name, because it's in God's word. And he's, he, he's a man that he, he's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. So that word is true and believe it. It is for you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Your son shall come into the things of God. Uh, God is going to do that for your son. Hallelujah. Yes, glory. Hallelujah. In my household, he's trying to, trying to get him back in church. Let I me tell you something. I hear the name Chris. 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 I hear the name Chris. I don't know who that's for. Prophet says she hear the name Chris. 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 Let me tell you something. When I was growing up, guess what? I was 14 years old. Anybody in my house or, or, or under 18 years old, you ain't got no choice but to go to church. Make him go to church. Come on now. Amen. Ain't no he got a choice. Make him go to church. For me and my house, we will serve the Lord. If you live in my house, you got to do the things of God or you got to go. Amen. That's just plain and simple. So he, whoever that was with the 14-year-old, he ain't got no choice. Make him go to church. Amen. He have no choice. Family restoration is this year. Don't yes, worry about that. Yes. It's already done in Jesus' name. Someone mess us up. Hallelujah. Pray for my boys ages 14, 13, and 4. We sure will, woman of God. It's already done. We covered the blood of Jesus. They will get Your saved. whole household will be saved. Yes. In Hallelujah. Jesus name. For me to get married. You shall be married, woman of God. Sweet marriage is coming to you. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And you shall and, and you shall go to honeymoon in Hawaii. Hallelujah. In Jesus' Glory. name. That go for Miss Joseph. You shall go to Hawaii on a honeymoon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive and achieve it right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That's right. My parents paid the bills. Kids need to obey. Exactly. Praise the Lord. So make sure that y'all uh, get connected so you will not be infected. Hallelujah. Get connected this year with those. If you don't have a spiritual covering, get he a said, spiritual Chris covering. Is my son. Chris is my son. Hallelujah. I heard, I heard the homosexual life. We break, break that, that homosexual right lifestyle in, the name of Jesus Christ. in Jesus yeah, name. I heard the Lord say, pray for Chris. Hallelujah. Like well, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we break that spirit of homosexual right now of his life in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that he should be a great man of God. He should preach the word. He should have a powerful testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. It is done in Jesus name. In Jesus name. Happy New Year's, Sister Hermika. How you doing? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good to see how you doing. Happy New Year, Sugar Trash. Bless, Happy New bless Year, your woman Sugar. of God. Bless y'all support these ministries. Sister Hermika have a powerful ministry in Houston. Yes. So does uh, Sister Sugar Trash. Make sure you support yes. these great ministries. They are powerful women of God. Uh, we bless them. That's our family. In Jesus' salvation name. Salvation is coming to you. Yes, God. salvation is coming to your family, coming to your household. Hallelujah. I prophesied to every I prophesied to several people on here yes, right Lord. now that by this time tomorrow, God is going to give you a prophetic idea for business. And that business is going to thrive like never before. Like never before. God is going to use you in a powerful way. God is going to open up that anointing to you. Blessings to you, woman of God. Blessings to you, woman of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Latanya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to open up this realm for business to some of you. So by this time tomorrow, get ready. No, get ready to see a supernatural harvest of miracles and ideas for business. These businesses are going to thrive. They're going to thrive like never before. Some of you are going to walk to you. Cars, houses, all those things. But more than anything, you shall walk in your God-given purpose yes. and destiny. You're going to walk in things. Hallelujah. Praying for the being a lucrative business. It shall be a lucrative Hallelujah. business in Jesus' name. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Blessings Good LaToya evening. D. How you doing, Latoya D? Blessings Bless the woman of God. She has a powerful ministry out here in Houston as well. She called my name, uh, called name Chris. That's my brother name. Well, Amen. Father, Bless your brother right bless now. Bless your brother right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Praying for divine concerning areas of ministry I should be working in. Hallelujah. Well, let me tell you something, woman of God. There's a prophetic grace. Oh, wow. She says on her list for... For on your life you need to get connected with those who move in the prophetic no mm -hmm. hallelujah I'm just trying to get comfortable people of God sorry <laughs> if I'm moving around it's on my list of requests I'm praying for time. my husband we're praying for your husband as well hallelujah hallelujah yes receive and achieve it yes receive and achieve it glory I'm going to believe, God, that some of you are going to move in the prophetic like never before this year. Hallelujah. There's going to be an impartation right now being released for the prophetic Jesus. over many of you lives Rabba. right now Rabba. in the Rabba. name Rabba. of Jesus Christ. Rabba. Melissa, Melissa, I hear Orlando, Florida. A mission in Orlando, Florida for you. Melissa Beatty. Amen. I hear, uh, I hear a mission in Orlando, Florida for you. And I hear that you're going to be traveling. And that a prophetic grace is going to come upon you. That goes for Melissa. Confirm, confirm, confirm. Confirm, I see that there's a grace. But it's almost like it was, it's like a church. But then it turned into a prophetic hub. In Jesus' name for Melissa Beatty, okay? I seen a, a mission that you're going to do in Orlando, Florida. Amen? Confirm, woman of God, if you're still on here. Hallelujah. But I seen Orlando, Florida. You're going to do a move out there because I seen to where it right now, there's a there's a move uh, uh, like... Um, there's something dealing with church, but it's not church. It's a prophetic okay, hub. Yes, yes. She said yes. Uh, I seen Orlando, Florida. Jesus. Does do you know anybody in Orlando, Florida? Some connected with Florida. I receive it. And I seen like a move of the spirit. I receive it. I seen like a move of the spirit. That took place in Orlando, Florida, but I seen it was not, it was a church, but it was not a church. It was like a prophetic Prophesy. training center Prophesy. that took place and that people were being trained under your anointing. Because I seen it was almost like it was a, a, it was like a conference call that transitioned into a physical meeting place. Jesus. And God began to excel your ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So confirm, confirm. Yeah, Hallelujah. So but God is going to transition you, woman yeah, of God, into a greater glory and a greater realm of God's spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Because I've seen Florida. I don't know what they mean to you. Orlando, Florida. I don't know what they mean to you. Please confirm. Uh, we want to make sure we confirm things on here. Uh, but I seen it went from one spot to uh, uh, um, like a call to almost like a church and from a church to like a prophetic hub. And that's what God has for your destiny. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whenever she have a chance, please confirm. Whatever God wants, I'm ready for a change. Hallelujah. Okay, whatever God wants, I'm ready for a change. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is going to do that change, woman of God. Get connected so you will not be infected. How you doing, brother Frank? Praise God. God is going to bless you, man of God. Things are about to take place in your life like never before. Hallelujah. 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 Churches, many churches are going to be built by your hands. 
Amen. God is going to move in a prophetic apostolic move upon your life. And you're going to see the glory of God like never before. Brother Frank. And God is going to train you also in the glory realm. Amen. Because there's many things that you need in the glory realm that God is going to release to your life. Hallelujah. I feel I see finances coming to Brother Frank. Finances are coming to Brother Frank. Yes, I receive and I achieve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So many of you on here are going to see the glory of God be released in a powerful way. Hallelujah. There's certain things that's going to get unlocked in this season, but it's going to take someone to speak it and to get released. There are many people out here that have a prophetic voice, but don't have the prophetic anointing to unlock things. When you see the realm of the spirit and the glory realm, it's going to manifest instantly. Hallelujah. So some of you are going to give testimonies by tomorrow, by tomorrow of things being unlocked in your life. Hallelujah. So I prophesy, I declare and decree yes. that many things that have been held up in the spiritual realm Jesus. will be unlocked right now in the Hallelujah. name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree that you shall have visitations from the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Power shall be released in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. And the power of the Holy Ghost. Look, she said the pain in my stomach is gone. The pain in my stomach is gone. Praise I've been God. able to get up and walk around. I've been in a bed for two days. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus. I thought I was going to break and lose my last baby. Oh, Thank no. you for your prayers. Yes. Hallelujah. I, hey, woman of God, I told you, receive it by faith. No miscarriages, no nothing. The pain has stopped. You can walk around now. The pain is gone. Glory. Praise God. It, God is unlocking your miracle right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Receive and achieve Praise it God. in Jesus Glory. Christ's holy Glory. name. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise reports. There's going to be there's going to be some of you to certain places and the power of God going to hit you and you're going to begin to prophesy to different people. You're going to move in an apostolic grace that you've never seen before. There are going to be some of you that's on here right now that's going to see uh, visitations of, of Christ before your eyes, visitations from the Father and visitations from the Holy Spirit. Tooth Hallelujah. The toothache is gone right now glory. in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory. Praise God. See, this in. is the glory realm. See, some things we don't even have to pray for, but the realm of that glory is coming upon yes. you through the foam. It's going to be instant. Hallelujah. Prophet, can you continue with the word? You, you was giving. giving. You said moving around to get com comfortable. You didn't continue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm trying to recall. I'm trying to recall. But what I'm saying right now is some of you, things are being unlocked right now in the realm of the spirit. 2016, you was held up. You was pushed back. You had delays. You had all kinds of things coming against you. 2017, the Lord showed me, is the year of establishment. Yes. Amen. I had a dream. And in this dream, um... God showed me something and he gave me a certain name. And when he gave me a certain name, and I looked up that name in the Hebrew and it meant God established. Hallelujah. Amen. So this is the season that God will establish. This is a season to where you shall be settled in the things of the spirit. Yes. Don't let nobody be with you. Don't let nobody make you force your hand to give. Don't let nobody be with you in the things of the spirit. That's right. Don't let nobody manipulate you That's into right. the things of God. Come on, make now. sure that they are getting real results. When we have healings, miracle signs and wonders, these things are confirmed by doctors. These things are confirmed uh, instant miracles, instant signs and wonders. There are many ministries that are good ground, but not everybody is fertile ground. When you have fertile ground, that means that if I sneeze on you, you get pregnant instantly. Instead of having to wait for seed time and harvest, you get pregnant right now. 
Amen. So some of you are going to wake up in the morning and money going to appear in your bank account. Some of you right now are going to go check right now. When I count to three, some of you are going to go check right now and money going to be in your Bibles. One, two, three. I release miracles right now of money manifestations. Angels of provision, money, thou are loose. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it and achieve it. Right now, begin to look for your miracle. Hallelujah. Begin to look for your miracle. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, I feel the Hallelujah. When you Jesus. receive that, go sow your seed. Go sow your seeds. Go check it right now. Our ministry is one of the ministries that pioneer in that realm of money miracles. Use what just been spoken and go check. Hallelujah. I guarantee you, you're going to find money in your wallet right now. Check your bank account. It's going to look different right now. You ain't got to wait. I pray for people to receive the money before they sow the seed. Come on now. That's when you have a major prophet or apostle in your life. You don't have to wait to sow a seed to get a harvest. You're going to get the harvest before you even sow the seed. Hallelujah. You're going to get the harvest before you even sow the seed. Hallelujah. 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 So receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. You want one more baby? It's done right now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Touch your touch your stomach behind touch the, your stomach right now and you're gonna feel the fire of God. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I ask you to touch right now, Tanya, Lord, that you begin to touch her ovaries, that you begin to touch her tubes right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you will produce in Jesus' name. Produce, produce right now in the name of Jesus. He's touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Open right now in the name of Jesus. Produce, produce, produce in Jesus' name. There it go, woman of God. There it goes in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Many of you on here saying you need financial blessings. Some of you need to sow right now. Go to www.showmore.org. We see testimonies of money miracles all the time. I ain't talking about seed time harvest. I'm talking about seed harvest. Time is taken out the equation. Make sure you sow into that realm of the spirit. Sow where you're trying to go. But I want some of those who received it already. You want your husband? Receive it. Prepare yourself as a wife. Get under a ministry that has a good marriage relationship. Hallelujah. That you receive can somebody it. that you can be, you can sit up under. Hallelujah. Not only that you want a husband, but let the husband want you. You pick the don't let pick the husband. Let the husband pick you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you need mentorship. Some of you need to be under a certain spiritual covenant. This is the reason why things are held up in the spiritual realm. Get under those who can get results. Get under those who can get results. Because receiving prayer without serving, that's still in the anointing. Prayer without servanthood is still in the anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's hijacking and prostituting the gift. You still need servanthood. You feel it already. Hallelujah. I feel what? Wow. What you saying? He just received something while he just now was texting. Somebody sent him some just now. Glory. Money miracles. Receive it right now. Hallelujah. Receive it right here now. Right here and right now. Praying about my business. Receive it right now. Jesus. In Jesus name. Just receive it. S simple. Just say I receive and achieve. Receive it right now in Jesus name. My husband want a baby. He have no kids. We believe him for God. Receive your baby right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. That's simple. Touch. Things in 2017 are going to come easier than it did in 2016. This year. You gonna you not even gonna have to pray for certain things. You just gonna think it and it's gonna happen. Hallelujah. Certain things you just gonna think it and it's gonna happen. You just gonna think it and it's gonna happen. A backsliding preacher, he need to get under the right covering. 
We're going to pray for your husband. Hallelujah. 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 Y'all check out some of our videos when it comes to marriage. It's called Married But Still Dating, and it got a lot of good kingdom principles in there about marriage. Make sure you check it out on YouTube. Married But Still Dating. Go to Prophet Sean Morris 1. Amen. Married But Still Dating. Hallelujah. Make sure you go check it out right now. Hallelujah. Financial free. Needing help. Sow a seed. Everybody that's talking about financial miracles, sow a seed. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. So there's no other way around it. You can, you can't, let me, let me help some of y'all out with the financial done. miracles. You cannot pray for money. That's not the principle that goes with that. You have to sow to get money. Who can burn me out? Inbox me. You need leadership. You need, you need, when you come to your leadership, make sure that you don't come with church hurt. Make sure you don't come with the burdens of your previous leaders. Make sure you don't come with the burdens of what, what, what used to go on in your previous church. Make sure that you come with the mindset of a student, the mindset of a leader. No matter what you know or what you think you know, make sure, make sure that you know when you come in what to do for those who want leadership. Feel like giving up? Going through too much? We all go through too much. Jesus went through more. Hallelujah. So, so sow your seed. Let me tell you, what you're going through is the perception of your mind. It's not really what you think. You cannot receive money without giving money. That's like asking for an orange seed, asking for an orange tree with an apple seed. You want, you want your marriage right? You got to sow the seed for marriage. There's a principle for each situation. Every principle is different. Hallelujah. So, anyway, we're not going to get into all that, but make sure you meet me in New Orleans. 501 Chapatula Street, New Orleans, Louisiana. Zip code 70130. Zip code 70130. Make sure you come. 501 Chapatula Street in that Stage Bridge Suites. It's in New Orleans, Louisiana, for those who are in that area. Hallelujah. And Get all the cold hurt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I saw that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray for who? That's what she Tim. For her. Oh, I sure will, woman. God, inbox me afterwards. And we'll talk, we'll talk more about it. Uh, woman of God, what's her name? Timura. Please contact us afterwards and I will talk to you about that whole situation. We're going to bless you, woman of God. Bless y'all. Love y'all. Let me tell you something, people of God. Get connected before you be infected. Not only just get connected, but get in covenant with those who are getting results. Many people can see it, but they can't manifest it. Many people can say it, but they can't get it to manifest. Make sure you get with those who are getting results. Amen. Some of you, I'm not telling you to leave your churches or your dead churches, whatever. But let me tell you something. You wouldn't be here unless you needed to be here. You wouldn't be here unless you needed to be here. Amen. So make sure you get connected with those who are getting results. Get the whole Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praying for new relationship this dirty in you. Hallelujah. We'll talk about that. You need discipleship, woman of God. It sounds like you got multiple issues. All these issues can be fixed when you get under the right leadership. Some of you, there's certain things that to be taught, but there's certain things to be caught. You get either blessed by association or you cursed by associating. Every problem that you have is a wisdom problem. There's something that you're not doing in your wisdom, whether it be money, whether it be marriage, whether it be children, whether it be business, whether it be ministry, whatever. There's something that you're not doing in your wisdom that's blocking your blessings. There's something that you're not doing, a principle you're not following that's stopping you from receiving from God. So all these problems that y'all claim y'all have, all that can be solved when you get under the right person that can teach you wisdom or receive the wisdom from God. Every problem is a wisdom problem. Some area that you lack in, 
because you lack wisdom in that area. Amen. With all you're getting, you, the main thing you need to get is get understanding. Hallelujah. So stop. Oh, pray for this little issue. Pray for, no, pray for wisdom for that issue. There's a certain principle you're not following. It's not that you got to pray. You can't change people. For those who are in relationship issues, you can't change people. All you can do is change yourself and the people around you will begin to change. Either for the good or God will remove them, fix them, or replace them. That's plain and simple. God will fix them or he will replace them. That go for husbands, that go for children, that go for pastor, whoever. You cannot fix people. All you can do is fix yourself. And in fixing yourself, you will attract a different element. In fixing yourself, you will attract a different element. That even go for your finances. When you change your mindset about money, then you'll change, you'll start. You can't ask God for a miracle, but you preach against preachers. You can't, well, I'm going to say it like this. You can't ask for money miracles or financial blessing when you talk against preachers who ask for money. Amen. You can't receive that way. You can't ask God for a, a, a money miracle, but then you shun the preacher that asks for money. That's crazy. But you want a blessing from the Lord. He can't do that. It's no way around the people of God. We got to stop playing these games. We've been playing for too long. Amen. So there's no way around it. You want money, you got to sow money. You want love, you got to sow love. You want submission, you got to sow submission. You want the prophetic, you got to get under the prophetic. If you want your ministry to grow, you got to help grow somebody else's ministry. Plain and simple, very simple. That'll solve a lot of y'all problems. You want to grow in a prophetic, get under somebody, the spirit of the prophet, subject or submitted to a prophet. If you're lacking in any area, some principle you're not following. You have marital problems, Get wisdom about your spouse. Change yourself. Don't try to change your spouse. Amen? That's what you got to understand. Because you're only going to attract what you are. So if your spouse is crazy, something in you that got with that person and drew that crazy spirit. I'm just being honest with you. Something in you that has a familiar spirit with that person. So you can't shift it all on that spouse. But that's another teaching for another day. Amen. Something in you that attracted that spirit. Because when you married him, you knew he was crazy when you married him. <laughs> so while all of a sudden you're trying to get him to be captain, you know, be something different that he, when you first met him, he was like this. Spirit recognized spirit. Exactly. So stop trying to change people and change you. And when you change you, then you'll change the environment of people that you're around. You want money? Get around money. Sow money. Learn about money. You want ministry? Get Help somebody else ministry. You want your ministry to thrive? Help somebody else ministry to thrive. The Bible tells us in Luke 16, 12. He tells us clearly, if you're not faithful with what's another man, how can God bless you with what's your own? So if you're not faithful of another man's ministry, how can God bless your ministry? If you're not faithful of another man's business, how God can bless your business? Real simple, people of God. It's just certain principles we're not following. So certain things don't need prayer, just need action. Certain things don't need just prayer. It needs your cooperation, your total obedience, your action. To produce. So some of you come like, oh, I need prayer. Oh, I need prayer. You don't need prayer. You just need to follow a principle. You need a word of wisdom. You don't need a prophecy. You need a word of wisdom. Hallelujah. But that's another teaching for another day. Certain things you don't need prayer for on this line. You just need wisdom. Or you need to follow a certain principle that you haven't been following. And some of you say, oh, I pay my tithe. But do you do it consistently? Do you up your sowing? 
Or are you at that same level that you've been at for the last 10 years? So on that little $100 or that little $50 every now and then, or that $1,000 seed every four months? Or are you, or are you upping your giving? Are you upping your fasting? Are you upping uh, your prayer time? You got to be consistent. God is a rewarder for those who diligently seek him, not seek him every three months or every once in a while. Hallelujah. Praise God. I know some got off when, they, <laughs> when I start talking like this. They just say, prophesy. This prophesy, talk, tell me about my life. I'm telling you about your life right now. Follow certain principles and you'll see the prince in the principle. Yes, Lord. That's in my book. Make sure you go get it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My new book is coming out real soon this year. Make sure you get it. It's going to be on Amazon. It's going to be everywhere. I'm going to be posting on Facebook. You're going to see on different uh, television stations, etc. So make sure y'all come out and support. Amen. Sean Morris. Hallelujah. I didn't say nothing. That yeah, prophet. I'm on your phone. <laughs> oh, she's on my phone. Prophetess is on my phone. <laughs> Teacher sign. Amen. Let me pray about it. Mainstream church today. Amen. A lot of stuff we pray for. Commands us to do a lot of stuff we pray for. Yeah, after you pray, then you got to go do something. Many people pray, but they don't move. A lot of people say, oh, I'm going to pray about it. Everybody say that same cliche. Oh, I'm going to pray about it. Many people don't pray. That's just a cliche that we all say. Oh, I'm going to pray about it. And then you see them three, four, five weeks later. Have you prayed about it? Yeah, I'm still praying on that. <laughs> After you pray, you got to go slay. After you pray, you got to go do some action. Fate without works is dead. We still got to go do something. We still got to go do something. I I move as I pray. Hallelujah. I move as I pray. I don't chill and don't move. Like some preachers will tell you, hey, you want to do a meeting together? Be like, oh, I got to pray about it. Okay. You should be in a spirit already to know to pick up my spirit or who I am. But because you haven't been praying, this is the reason why you got to go take out this time to go pray. Because they haven't been praying. People always say, I'm going to pray for you. Never really go pray. That's a cliche we say in the church. And that's the reason why things are not moving in the church. Because we keep on saying, oh, we're going to pray for you. We're gonna, And nobody really pray. Yeah. We have to, exactly. We have to be effective. That's a cliche we all say. So stop saying you're going to pray for me. Oh, I'm going to keep you lifted. Lifted where? Where are you going to lift me at? I'm past 200 pounds. How are you going to lift me? You going to lift me in the spirit? Huh? How are you going to pray for me, but I'm praying for you? Rosha. Come on now, people of God. Let's stop playing games this season. 2017, we're going to get this thing right. Hallelujah. If you line up, you wouldn't know the Father will. Exactly. Amen. Yeah, it don't have to take you 15 months to pray about a situation. If you're already in the spirit on a 24-7 basis, you don't need all that. You, you, you gonna... If it's anything pertaining to the will of God, it's his will. If it's anything in his word, it's his will. So what you need to keep on praying for? Move. Move. If it's in his word, it's in his will. For you to connect with your brothers and sisters in the Christ, that's his will. Yes, people will have character flaws and people will have other situations. I'm not saying go walk into a, a den of witches, but if you're strong enough in the spirit, you shouldn't worry about if you walk in a den of witches. You should be strong enough in the spirit to cast them out and convert them. That's right. So why you got to be so touchy about where you go? Why you got to be so touchy about where you are? Wicked excuses. Just do it. Exactly. It's already been commanded by God for us to connect. So why haven't some of y'all came to the meeting? Oh, I'm praying about it, prophet. What you need to pray about? 
You come on here, give likes and hearts and all that, but I don't see you in the physical. Oh, I got to pray about that. No, go make provision for the vision. If you really want to go do something, oh, we're going we gonna to come meet. Well, let's come on. Where are you? Come to the meetings. Stop making excuses. Where are you? Walk in the spirit. Exactly. The key word is walk. Not sit. <laughs> come on, people of God. This season we must move in our, we must participate with our miracle. We must move with our destiny if we want to see some results. You waiting on God, God waiting on you. Amen. When is your next meeting? I live in Los Angeles. Let's have a meet in Los Angeles. Let, let's have a meet in Los Angeles. Amen. So let's stop saying what we're going to do. God's will is his word. God will is anything pertaining to the advancement of his kingdom. No matter what church you go to, no matter what ministry you go to, no matter who you connect with, if they're a fellow brother in the body of Christ, you need to collaborate because that's your family member. They may not be a part of your tribe, but that's still a family member in the body of Christ. It's just a different member. Exactly. Pick up the page 2017. It don't take you 30 months to pray about it. We're going to do a meeting together. It don't take you 15 years to see if we're going to collaborate together. Let's just do it. And we'll sort out the little kinks later. Let's just do it. Many of you, God been spoke. And because you didn't move in a timely fashion, the glory that was on that word that he gave you, the covering of it is no longer exists. Now you got to go through warfare to get it back. Get it back. Because you didn't move in a timely fashion on that word. So the glory that was on that word is no longer on it. That's why people miss the prophetic. And that's why people, many people, prophecies don't come to pass because they don't move on the instruction of the word quick enough. No, but we have meetings coming up in Texas what is it? What's the name of the with, with Prophet Stacy and her husband. Please post up the, please post up. It's in, in Hereford, in Hereford, Texas. If the woman of God said long, please post it up. I would like to come to Victory, uh, Victory, Texas. But stop procrastinating in this season. God, the Holy Spirit quickens. We must know the timing of God. Let me tell you something. The timing of God is now. God don't move by time. We move by time. We move by time. We're prone to time, chronological order. Minutes, seconds, hours, days. God moves in the now. Eternity, there's no beginning, there's no end. He moves in the right now. He is the beginning and the end. So in between eternity, there's no time frame. So God, all God time is always. Our time is not always. God is always speaking. We're not always listening. God time is now. N-O-W, no opportunity wasted. Now. Now. So we, God doesn't move by a time frame. We do. We're prone to time. Long as earth remains, seed time harvest. We're prone to time, but not God. God can come in any millisecond. So when people say that, people of God, uh, uh, we got to work with the times and the seasons of God, else we will miss it. Exactly. God has prone times and seasons for the earth realm, but God is omnipresent at all times. Prophet Stacy, post up information. He's omnipresent at all times. So even if during the times and the seasons and you did miss it in the earth, you as the individual need to get in the spirit to where you can redeem time. You can redeem time back. That's when you're in a spiritual realm. You can redeem time. If you're moving in now, yes, you have already won. See, we're not actually moving forward. We're actually moving backwards because what 
Everything that we have done has already been done. Exactly. 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 So we got to move by. We're moving forward. We're not moving forward. We're actually moving backwards. Because guess what? That's why some of you say, I, you know, this deja vu. Feel like I did this before. Because you have already acted out in the spiritual realm. Amen. Hallelujah. So, anyway, but I'm not going to get into that teaching. That's for some of that stuff for my sons and daughters. But if you'd like to learn more, you can get in the School of the Supernatural or our School of Prophets. Uh, inbox me if you'd like to get a part of the school. There is a registration fee to get in the school, but I work with people who want to get in the school. Amen. So uh, let, it, let me know if you want to be a part of it. Again, uh, we're going to be in New Orleans uh, in two days. And that's going to be at 501 Chopper Tula Street. That's going to be in New Orleans, Louisiana. The zip code is 70130. 70130. That's going to be 501 Chopper Tula Street, New Orleans, Louisiana. That's my hometown. That's where I was born and raised. So for those who are in the area, please come out. Make sure you invite your people. We're going to have the order of the prophetic. Make sure that you come. And then when we come back, we will be with Stacy and her husband, uh, 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 Pastor Mace and, 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 and uh, uh, Prophet Stacy in Hereford, Texas. Um, I don't have the address right now, but the woman of God is right here. Make sure you post it up, woman of God. And I want y'all to come in by the droves. Uh, in in here for Texas, I want y'all to come by the drove because most of y'all on here are from Houston or from Texas. Make sure you come. It's gonna be it's no not not too far from Amarillo. Make sure you come. It's gonna be off the chain. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eight eight zero two Avenue K, her uh for Texas, here for Texas. Make sure you come. Hallelujah, because there are no places. No, February. This is going to be in February, at the end of February. So make sure you come out. It's going to be February 24th through 26th. Make sure that you come out. We're coming in by the droves. We're going to be a prophetic move of the Spirit. We're going to see signs, wonders, miracles, same thing in New Orleans. For those who want to come to New Orleans, please come out. Amen. One hour away from Amarillo. Amen. So anyway... For those who want to get a part of the School of Supernatural, inbox me. Those who want to get part of the prophetic school, inbox me if you want to be a part of it. Amen. You need to get trained in the things of the Spirit so you can see results and get results. Amen. So we bless y'all. I got to get off of here because we got to get ready uh, for New Orleans. I got to get packed up. And uh, keep us in prayer that it'll be a great move of the Spirit when we go to New Orleans. We love y'all. We bless y'all. Love you, love you, love you. Love you guys. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Bless you. We bless y'all. We will see y'all soon. Amen. Peace.